Aloha, Scott the Astro Manager here with the next session on our email management better emails class. Today I want to talk about uh, keyboard shortcuts. So hopefully concluding the last session on notifications, turn those notifications off for your email, on your phone, on your computer, whatever your devices you use for email. And in general, I think it's a good idea to turn notifications off for as many things as possible because you don't want the notifications telling you when you should be doing things and where you should be putting your tent in a given minute. You want to be able to control that. If you haven't watched that, I would recommend going back to that video first. That's really important turning off those notifications. So I'll, I'll link to that up, up here. So now keyboard shortcuts. It's just a way to be more efficient when you're at your email session. Assuming you're on a computer with a keyboard, if you're not, then you can ignore this skip on to the next to the next session um, when, it, when, the, when that's ready. But if you're working on a computer with a keyboard, when you're processing your emails, your hands are gonna be on the keyboard a lot. There's being a lot of typing involved. So it's really convenient not to have to keep moving your hand from the keyboard to the mouse or the pointing device and then back to the keyboard. So learning some convenient keyboard shortcuts is gonna be is gonna help you keep your fingers on the keyboard and just help be a little bit more efficient with how you do things and speed up that whole general general process. It's a little bit here and there, but you're doing you're spending a lot of time typically on email, and so that little bit adds 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 up. I'm gonna to talk today just about Gmail. That's a fairly common client, and it's the one I use, but other email clients will have similar keyboard shortcuts or options. So if you don't know where those are on your client, just do a search for your client keyboard shortcuts, find out what they are, and see if there's a way to customize. You might also look for customized keyboard shortcuts and see. So I'm gonna show you on Gmail how to do that. And I've got my settings already open on one of my Gmail accounts. But you just go over here to the settings icon here and then click and see show then it will be a small little set settings menu and then click see all settings so that's what I've got up here and under general if you scroll down you see keyboard shortcuts here on the bottom so you can turn those on so that just gets you the generic whatever Gmail uh, the default keyboard shortcuts and if you want to do some advanced work which I'll be suggesting you do is go over to advanced this tab up here and then click on custom keyboard shortcuts, enable or disable. Now I don't remember if selecting this then enables this new menu item or if it's always been there. And I don't want to disable mine in case it, it erases my customized shortcuts. So I'm not going to experiment with that right now. But once you have your keyboard shortcuts enabled, you can now go to this keyboard shortcuts menu item and this is where you can customize your different shortcuts. You can see it'll be filled up here what the default ones are and then you can change them for what's natural to you. So you can go in here and you can now edit any of the keyboard shortcuts that you want. And anyway, and then you just um, save changes down here at the bottom if you make any if you make if you make any changes. And now those shortcuts are active. So let me go ahead and close this out and then show you how to see those shortcuts. So now I've gone back to my inbox. And if you go anywhere on the screen that's not you know, in an active message window or, or, or search area. Just hit question mark, and that shows you all the shortcuts. This screen is clever enough that it shows you the real short, the any shortcuts that you that you've adjusted as well. So this will be the, the default plus the customized ones. Now you've got your custom keyboard, your custom keyboard shortcuts, and you can change it on that on that one screen. I'll just show you what I do, and it gets, just gives you some idea of, of how you might want to modify them, for, for, you know, for for yourself. So I, I like to, um, I have little r for reply, big r for reply all, d for delete, l for label, so if I wanted to categorize a certain mail, I can just do l and then type the label name. Archive means either put it in my all mail as red, or if I've got a label then it sticks it into that folder, or multiple folders, since Gmail can handle multiple folders. S, I use a lot, and this is so if I'm reading an email and I want to label and archive it, then I just say S, and that opens up the label uh, dialog, which lets me type in the label, and then it archives it. So it's basically save, is how I think about it. But it labels it with the, whatever I type in, the label I type in, then archives. G, if I want to go to a label, shift G gives me back to the inbox. So if I'm in a label, and I want to just go back to the inbox again, shift G gets me there. Uh, use exclamation to mark things as spam, and I use U 
hopefully sparingly, as I advised earlier. Uh, you don't really want to be on reading your message and then reading them again. You want to be processing at the time. Sometimes, though, I don't do that, and, and I, I prefer it's easier um, just to mark it on the red and come back to it later. So I have a shortcut for that. So I think it's really all I want to discuss today is getting used to the idea of doing more of your email processing with your hands on the keyboard makes it more efficient, figuring out which things you do often that have your, your hand moving over to your mouse or your trackball, whatever your pointing device is, and then seeing if you, there's a shortcut you can do that makes sense to you to do on the, on, the keyboard, on the keyboard. That just keeps your hands on the keyboard, keeps you moving efficiently, keeps the shortens that time you're spending processing email, which is one of the key things you want to do. So next session I want to talk about search. Uh, how do you how to more efficiently use some of the advanced features of search? Okay, that's really going to help you find that given email when you when you need to do something. So we'll talk about that next. So I hope you found this useful and I hope you see me next time. Bye-bye.